it's going to be me reciting the entire B-movie script in ASMR, and uh, today's actually World B Day on May 20th, uh, so yeah, I completely lost my sanity while trying to make this, it was extremely difficult, and I don't know why I'm even doing this, okay, so, uh, enjoy! <laughs> According to all known laws of aviation, there is no way that a bee should be able to fly. Its wings are too small to get its fat little body off the ground. The bee, of course, flies anyway because bees don't care what humans think is impossible. Yellow, black, yellow, black, yellow, black, yellow, black, oh, black and yellow. Yeah, let's shake it up a little. Barry, breakfast is ready. Coming. Oh, hang on a second. Hello. Barry, Adam, can you believe this is happening? I can't believe it. I'll pick you up. Looking sharp. Barry, why don't you use the stairs? Your father paid good money for those. Sorry, I'm excited. Here's a graduate. We're very proud of you, son. And a perfect report card. All bees. Very proud. Ma, I got a thing going here. Ah, you got some lint on your fuzz. Ow, oh, that's me. Wave to us. We'll be in a row. 118. Bye. Barry, I told you. Stop flying in the house. Hey, Adam. Hey, Barry. Is that fuss gel? A little. It's a special day. Finally graduating. Never thought I'd make it. Yeah, three days of grade school. Three days of high school. Those are so awkward. Three days of college. I'm glad I took off one day in the middle and just hitchhiked around the hive. You did come back different. Hi, Barry. Hey, Artie. Growing a mustache. Looks good. Hey, did you hear about Frankie? Yeah, you going to his funeral? No, I'm not going to his funeral. Everybody knows you sting someone, you die. You don't waste it on a squirrel. He was such a hothead. Yeah, I guess he could have just gotten out of the way. Whoa, ugh. I love this incorporating an amusement park right into a regular day. I guess that's why they say we don't need vacations. Boy, quite a bit of pomp under the circumstances. Well, Adam, today we are men. We are be men. Amen. Hallelujah. Ah. Students, faculty, distinguished bees, please welcome Dean Buzzwell. Welcome, New Hive City graduating class of 915. And that concludes our graduation ceremonies and begins your career at Onyx Industries. Are we going to pick our jobs today? I heard it's just orientation. Ah, uh, whoa, heads up. Here we go. Keep your hands and antennas inside the tram at all times. Mantenga sus manos y antennas dentro del chanvia en todo momento. Wonder what it's going to be like. A little scary. Welcome to Onyx, a division of Onesco and a part of the Hexagon group. This is it. Wow, whoa. I may know that you, as a bee, have worked your whole life to get to the point where you can work for your whole life. Honey, it begins when our valiant pollen jocks bring the nectar to the hive. Our top secret formula is automatically color corrected, scent adjusted, and bubble contoured into this soothing sweet syrup with its distinctive golden glow you know as honey. That girl was hot. She's my cousin. She is. Yes, we're all cousins, right? You're right. At Onyx, we also constantly strive to improve every aspect of bee existence. These bees are stress testing a new helmet technology. Oh, what do you think he makes? Not enough. And we, here we have our latest advancement, the Grellman. Wow, what does that do? Get to that little strand of honey that hangs after you pour it. Saves us millions. Uh, uh can anyone work on the Grellman? Of course. Most bee jobs are small ones, but bees know that every small job, if it's done well, means a lot. But choose carefully, because you'll stay in the job that you pick for the rest of your life. The same job the rest of your life? I didn't know that. What's the difference? Huh? And you'll be happy to know that bees as a species haven't had one day off in 27 million years. Well, though you'll just work us to death, we'll sure try. Wow, that blew my mind. What's the difference? Adam, how could you say that? One job forever. That's an insane choice to have to make. Well, I'm relieved. Now we only have to make one decision in life. But Adam, how could they never have told us that? Barry, why would you question anything? We're bees. We're the most perfectly functioning society on earth. Yeah, but Adam, did you ever think that maybe things work a little too well around here? Like what? Give me one example. I don't know, but you know what I'm talking about. Please clear the gate. Royal Nectar Force on approach. 
jocks. You guys did great. You're monsters. You're sky freaks. I love it. I love it. I wonder where those guys have just been. I don't know. Their day's not planned. Outside the high flying who knows where, doing who knows what. You can't just decide one day to be a pollen jock. You have to be bred for that, right? Look at that. That's more pollen than you and I will ever see in a lifetime. It's just a status symbol. I think bees make too big a deal out of it. Perhaps, unless you're wearing it and the ladies see you wearing it. Those ladies, aren't they your cousins too? Distant, distant. Look at these two, couple of high berries. Let's have some fun with them. It must be so dangerous being on pollen chalk. Oh yeah, one time a bear had me pinned up against a mushroom. He had one ball in my throat, and with the other he was slapping me back and forth across my face. Oh my, I never thought I'd knock him out. And what were you doing during all of this? Obviously, I was trying to alert the authorities. I can autograph that if you want. A little gusty out there today, wasn't it, comrades? Yeah, gusty. Yeah, we're gonna hit a sunflower patch about six miles from here tomorrow. Six miles, huh? Barry, it's a puddle jump for us, but uh, maybe you're not up for it. Maybe I am. You are not. We are going 0900 at JK. Whoa, what do you think, Buzzy Boy? Are you being enough? I might be. It all depends on what 0900 means. Hey, Onyx. Oh, Dad, you surprised me. Have you decided what you're interested in, son? Well, there's a lot of choices, but you only get one. Dad, do you ever get bored doing the same job every day? Son, let me tell you something about stirring. You grab that stick and you just move it around and you stir it around. You get yourself into a rhythm. It's a beautiful thing. You know, Dad, the more I think about it, maybe the honey feel just isn't right for me. And you were thinking of what? Making balloon animals. That's a bad job for a guy with a stinger. Well, no. Janet, your son's not sure he wants to go into honey. Oh, Barry, you are so funny sometimes. I'm not trying to be funny. You're not funny. You're going into honey. Our son, the stir. You're gonna be a stir. No one's listening to me. Wait till you see the sticks I have for you. I could say anything I want right now. I'm gonna get an ant tattoo. Oh, let's open some fresh honey and celebrate. Maybe I'll pierce my thorax, shave my antenna. So funny. Check up with a grasshopper, get a gold tooth, and start calling everybody dog. I'm so proud. I can't believe we're starting work today. Today's the day. Come on. All the good jobs will be gone. Yeah, right. Pollen counting, stunt bee, boring, stir, front desk, hair removal. Is it still available? Hang on, two left, and one of them's yours. Congratulations. Son, step to the side, please. Yeah, what you get? Picking the crud out. Whoa, that is stellar. Wow, couple of newbies. Yes, sir, our first day, and we are ready. Well, step up and make your choice. Do you want to go first? Oh, uh, no, you go. Oh my, what's available? Restroom attendants always open, and not for the reason you think. Any chance of getting onto the Grellman, sir? Sure, you're on. Oh, I'm sorry, the Grellman just closed out. Oh. Wax monkeys always open, and the Grellman just opened again. What happened? Well, whenever a bee dies, that's an opening. See that? He's dead. Dead. Another dead one. Deady. Deadified. Two more dead. Dead from the neck up. Dead from the neck down. But that's life. Oh, this is hard. Heating, cooling, stun bee, bore, stir, humming. Inspector number seven. Lint coordinator. Stripe supervisor. Antenna ball polisher. Light wrangler. Barry, what do you think I should? Barry. Barry. All right, we've got the sunflower patch in quadrant nine. Geranium window box on Sutton Place. What happened to you? Where are you? I'm going out. Out. Where? Out there. Oh no, I have to. Before I go to work for the rest of my life, you're gonna die. You're crazy. Hello? Oh, another call coming in. If anyone's feeling brave, there's a Korean deli on 83rd that gets their roses today. Hey guys, well look at that. Isn't that the kid we saw yesterday? Hold it, son. Flight deck's restricted. It's okay, Lou. We're gonna take him up. Yeah, really feeling lucky, are you? Miss Hine here. 
here. Just initial that. Thank you. Okay, you got a rain advisory today, and as you all know, bees cannot fly in rain, so be careful. As always, watch your brooms, hockey sticks, dogs, birds, bears, and pets. Also, I got a couple of reports of root beer being poured on us. Murphy's in home because of that, just babbling like a cicada. That's awful. And a reminder for all you rookies, be law number one. Absolutely no talking to humans. All right, launch positions. Black and yellow, hello. You ready for this hot shot? Yeah, yeah, bring it on. Wind check, antenna check, nectar pack check, wings check, stinger check. Scared out of my shorts, check. Okay, ladies, let's move it out. Pound those petunias, you striped stem suckers, all of you trained those flowers. Wow, I'm out. I can't believe I'm out. So blue. Oh, I feel so fast and free. Box kite. Wow. Oh, flowers. This is blue later. We have roses visual. Bring it around 30 degrees and hold. Roses. 30 degrees. Roger. Bring it around. Stand to the side, kid. It's got a bit of a kick. Oh, that is one nectar collector. You ever see pollination up close? No, sir. I pick up some pollen here, sprinkle a lid over here, maybe a dash over there, a pinch on that one, see that? It's a little bit of magic, ain't it? Wow, that's amazing. Why do we do that? That's pollen parakeet. More pollen, more flowers, more nectar, more honey for us. Cool. I'm picking up a lot of bright yellow. Could be daisies. Don't we need those? Copy that visual. Hold on. One of these flowers seems to be on the move. Say again. Are you reporting a moving flower? Affirmative. That was on the line. This is the coolest. What is it? I don't know, but I'm loving this color. Ah, it smells good. Not like a flower, but I like it. Yeah, fuzzy, chemically. Careful, guys. It's a little crappy. My sweet lord of bees. Hey, candy brain, get off there. Problem. Guys, this could be bad. Affirmative. Very close. Gonna hurt. Mama's little boy, you are way out of position, rookie. Coming in at you like a missile. Help me. You know, I don't think these are flowers. Should we tell him? I think he knows. What is this? Match point. You can just start backing up, honey, because I believe you're about to eat it. What? Oh no. Oh, you cannot be serious. Yeah, sir. Ew, gross. There's a bee in the car. Do something. I'm driving. Hi, P. He's back here. He's going to sting me. Nobody move. If you don't move, he won't sting you. Freeze. He blinked. Spray him, Granny. What are you doing? Well, the tension level I hear is unbelievable. I gotta get home. Whoa. Can't fly in rain. Can't fly in rain. Can't fly in rain. Mayday, mayday. Be going down. Ken, could you close the window, please? Huh? Oh, hey. Check out my new resume. I made it into a fold-out brochure. You see? fold out. Oh, no. More humans. I don't need this. Oof. Ow. What was that? Maybe this time. This time. This time, this time, this time, this, 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 drapes. That is diabolical. It's fantastic. It's got all my special skills, even my top ten favorite movies. What's your number one, Star Wars? Nah, I don't go for that kind of stuff. No wonder we're not supposed to talk to them. They're out of their minds. When I walk out of a job interview, they're flabbergasted. They can't believe the things I say. There's the sun. Maybe that's a way out. I don't remember the sun having a big 75 on it. I gotta tell ya, I predicted global warming. I could feel it getting hotter. At first, I thought it was just me. Wait, stop. B. Kill it. Kill it. Stand back. These are winter boots. Wait, don't kill him. You know I'm allergic to them. This thing could kill me. Well... Why does this life have any less value than yours? Why does this life have any less value than mine? Is that your statement? I'm just saying all life has value. You don't know what he's capable of feeling. My brochure. There you go, little guy. I'm not scared of him, but yeah, it's an allergic thing. Hey, why don't you put that on your resume brochure? It's not funny. My whole face could puff up. Make it one of your special skills. You know, knocking someone out is also 
special skill. Right? Bye, Vanessa. Thanks. Vanessa, next week, yogurt night. Oh, yeah, sure can. You know, whatever. You could put carrot chips on there. Bye. Supposed to be less calories or something. Bye. I gotta say something. She saved my life. I've got to say something. All right, here it goes. What would I say? I could really get in trouble. It's a bee law. You're not supposed to talk to a human. I can't believe I'm doing this. I've got to. Oh, I can't do it. Come on. No. Yes. No. Do it. I can't. How should I start it? You like jazz? No, that's no good. Here she comes. Speak, you fool. Um, hi. I'm sorry. Huh? You're talking. Yes, I know. I know. I'm so... You're talking. I know. Um, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. No, it's okay. It's fine. It's just... I know I'm dreaming, but... I don't recall going to bed. Well, you know, I'm sure this is very disconcerting. Yeah, I mean, this is a bit of a surprise to me. I mean, you're a bee. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm a bee. And, uh, you know, I'm not supposed to be doing this, but they were all trying to kill me. And if it wasn't for you, I mean, I had to thank you. It's, it's just the way I was raised. Oh, that was a little weird. I'm talking to a bee. Yeah. I'm talking to a bee. Anyway, and the bee is talking to me. Um, I just want to say I'm grateful, and I'm going to leave now. Wait, 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 wait. How did you learn to do that? What? That, 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 the talking thing. Oh, same way you did, I guess. Mama, dada, honey, you pick it up. <laughs> That's very funny. Yeah, bees are funny. If we didn't laugh, we'd cry with what we have to deal with. Anyway, can I, uh, get you something? Like what? I don't know. I mean, I don't know. Coffee? Well, uh, I don't want to put you out unless you're making it anyway. Oh, it's no trouble. Oh, it takes two minutes. Really? It's just coffee. I hate to impose. Don't be ridiculous. Actually, I would love a cup. Hey, you want a little rum cake? I really shouldn't have a little rum cake. No, 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 I can't. Oh, come on. You know, I'm trying to lose a couple micrograms here. Where? Well, these stripes don't help. You look great. I don't know if you know anything about fashion. Are you alright? No. He's making the tie in the cab as they're flying up Madison, so he finally gets there. Ah, he runs up the steps into the church. The wedding is on. Yeah. And he says, watermelon. I thought you said guatemalan. Ah, uh, why would I marry a watermelon? Oh, is that a bee joke? Yeah, that's the kind of stuff that we do. Yeah, different. So, anyway, what are you gonna do, Barry? About work? I don't know. I wanna do my part for the hive, but I... I can't do it the way they want. I know how you feel. You do? Sure. My parents wanted me to be a lawyer or a doctor, but I wanted to be a florist. Really? My only interest is flowers. Our new queen was just elected with that same campaign slogan. Oh, huh? Anyway, you see if you look there, there's my hive right there. You can see it. Oh, you're in Sheep Meadow. Yes, you know the turtle pond? Yes, I'm right off of that. Oh, no way, I know that area. Do you know I lost a toe ring there once? Really? Yes, why do girls put rings on their toes? Well, why not? I don't know. It's like putting a hat on your knee. Maybe I'll try that. You all right, ma'am? Oh, yeah, just fine. Just having two cups of coffee. Oh, uh, um, anyway, this has been great. Thanks for the coffee. Oh, yeah, it's no trouble. Sorry you couldn't finish it. If I did, I'd be up for the rest of my life. Are you, um, can I take a piece of this with me? Sure, here, have a crumb. Oh, thanks. Yeah, all right, well then, I guess I'll see you around. Or not, or... Okay, Barry, and thank you so much again for before. Oh, that, that was nothing. Well, not nothing, but anyway, this can't possibly work. Well, he's all set to go. We may as well try it. Okay, Dave, pull the chute. Sounds amazing. Oh, it was amazing. It, it was the scariest, happiest moment of my life. Humans, humans, I can't believe you were with humans. Giant, scary humans. What were 
are they like? Huge and crazy. They talk crazy. They eat crazy giant things. They drive around real crazy. And do they try and kill you like on TV? Some of them, but some of them don't. How'd you get back, Poodle? Look, you did it, and I'm glad. You saw whatever you wanted to see out there. You had your experience, and now you're back. You can pick out your job, and everything can be normal. Well, 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 I met someone. You met someone. Would she be ish? Mm, not a wasp. Your parents will kill you. No, 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 not a wasp, spider. You know, I'm not attracted to spiders. I know to everyone else it's like the hottest thing with the eight legs and all. I can't get by that face. So, uh, who is she? She's, uh, a human. Oh, no, 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 that didn't happen. You didn't do that. That is a bee law. You wouldn't break a bee law. Her name's Vanessa. Oh, oh, boy. She's so nice and she's a florist. Oh no, 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 no. You're dating a human florist. Well, well, we're not dating. You're flying outside the hive. You're talking to human beings that attack our homes with power washers and M80s. That's one eighth of a stick of dynamite. She saved my life and she understands me. This is over. Eat this. This is not over. What was that? They call it a crumb. That was so stinging stripey. That's not even what they eat. That's just what falls off what they eat. Do you know what a cinnabon is? No. It's bread. Come in here. And cinnamon. Be quiet. And frosting. They heat it up. Sit down. Really hot. Listen to me. We are not them. We're us. There's us and there's them. Yes, but who can deny the heart that is yearning? There's no yearning. Stop yearning. Listen to me. You've got to start thinking B, my friend. Thinking B, thinking B, thinking B, thinking B, thinking B. There he is. He's in the pool. You know what your problem is, Barry? I've got to start thinking B. Barry, how much longer is this going to go on? It's been three days. I don't understand why you're not working. Well, I've got a lot of big life decisions I'm thinking about. What life? You have no life. You have no job. You're barely a bee. Oh, what a kill you to just make a little honey. Barry, come out from under there. Your father's talking to you. Martin, would you talk to him? Barry, I'm talking to you. You coming? Got everything. All set. You go ahead. I'll catch up. Don't be too long. Watch this. Vanessa, we're still here, Barry. I told you not to yell at him. He doesn't respond when you yell at him. Then why are you yelling at me? Because you don't listen. Uh, I'm not listening to this. Sorry, Mom. I've got to go. Where are you going? Nowhere. I'm meeting a friend. A girl. This is why you can't decide. Bye. I just hope she's bee-ish. So they have a huge parade of just flowers every year in Pasadena. Oh, to be in the tournament of roses. That's every florist's dream. Up on a float, surrounded by flowers, crowds cheering. Wow, a tournament. Do the roses actually compete in athletic events? No. Alright, I've got one. How come you don't fly everywhere? It's exhausting. Why don't you run everywhere? Isn't that faster? Yeah, okay. I see, I see. Alright, your turn. Ah, uh, Tivo, you can just freeze live TV. That's insane. What? You don't have anything like that. We have Hivo, but it's a disease. It's a horrible, horrible disease. Oh my. Dumb bees, you must just want to sting all those jerks. We really try not to sting. It's usually fatal for us. So you really have to watch your temper. Yeah, very carefully. You kick a wall, take a walk, write an angry letter and throw it out. You work through it like any emotion, anger, jealousy, lust. Oh my god, are you okay? Yeah, phew. What is wrong with you? It's a bug. Well, he's not bothering anyone. But he get out of here, you creep. What was that? A pick and safe circular? Yeah, it was. How did you know? It felt like about 10 pages. 75 is pretty much our limit. Boy, you really got that down to science. Oh, we have to. I lost a cousin to Italian folk. I'll bet. What in the name of mighty Hercules is this? How did this get here? QB, Golden Blossom, Ray Liotta, Private Select. Is he that actor? I've never heard of him. Why is 
is here for people we eat it why you don't have enough food of your own well yes we how do you even get it well bees make it i know who makes it and it's hard to make there's heating and cooling and stirring you need a whole ground mint thing it's organic it's our organic it's just honey berry just what bees don't know about this this is stealing a lot of stealing taking our homes, our schools, our hospitals. This is all we have and it's on sale. I'm going to get to the bottom of this. I'm going to get to the bottom of all of this. Hey Hector, you almost done. Almost. He is here. I sent it. Well, I guess I'll go home now and just leave this nice honey out with no one around. Your busted box boy. Ah, I knew I heard something. So you can talk. Oh, I can talk, and now you're going to start talking. Where are you getting all the sweet stuff? Who's your supplier? I don't know what you're talking about. I thought we were all friends. The last thing we want to do is upset any of you bees. Huh? You're too late. It's ours now. You, sir, have crossed the wrong sword. You, sir, are about to be lunch for my iguana, Ignacio. Where is Honey coming from? Tell me where. Honey Farms. It comes from Honey Farms. Oh my, what horrible thing has happened here? Look at these faces. They never knew what hit them. And now they're on the road to nowhere. Psst, just keep still. What? You're not dead? Do I look dead? Hey man, they will wipe anything that moves. Now where are you headed? To Honey Farms. I am onto something huge here. I'm going to Alaska. Moose blood, crazy stuff, blows your head off. I'm going to Tacoma. What about you? He really is dead. All right. Uh-oh. What is that? Oh no, it's a wiper. Triple blade. Triple blade. Jump on. It's your only chance, B. Why does everything have to be so doggone clean? How much do people need to see? Open your eyes. Take your head out the window. For NPR News in Washington, I'm Carl Gazelle. But don't kill no more bugs. B. Moose blood guy. You hear something? Like what? Like tiny screaming? Turn off the radio. Hey, what's up, B-boy? Hey, blood. And it was just an endless row of honey jars as far as I could see. Well, so I'm just assuming wherever this honey truck goes, that's where they're getting it. I mean, that honey's ours. Bees, hang tight. Well, we're all jammed in there. It's a close community. Not us, man. We're on our own. Every... Every mosquito is on his own. But what if you get in trouble? In trouble? You're a mosquito. You're in trouble. Nobody likes us. They're just all smacking. People see a mosquito smack smack. At least you're out in the world. You must meet a lot of girls. Mosquito girls try to trade up. Get with a moth, a dragonfly. Mosquito girl don't want no mosquito. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Moose blood's about to leave the building. So long, B. Hey guys, I knew I'd catch you all down here. Did you bring your crazy straws? Then we throw it in some jars and slap a label on it. It's pretty much pure profit. What is this place? A bee's got a brain the size of a pinhead. They are pinheads. Hey, check out the new smoker. Oh sweet, that's the one you want. The Tom is 3000. Smoker. 90 pups a minute. Semi-automatic. Twice the nicotine. All the tar. Couple of breaths of this knocks them right out. They make the honey and we make the money. They make the honey and we make the money. Oh my, what's going on? Are you okay? Yeah, it doesn't last too long. How did you two get here? Do you know you're in a fake hive with fake walls? Our queen was moved here. We had no choice. This is your queen. That's a man in women's clothes. That's a drag queen. What is this? Oh no, there's hundreds of them. Be honey, our honey is being presently stolen on a massive scale. This is worse than anything the bears have done to us. And I intend to do something about it. Oh, Barry, stop. Who told you that humans are taking our honey? That's just a rumor. Do these look like rumors? That's a conspiracy theory. These are obviously doctored photos. Uh, Barry, how did you get mixed up in all this? Because he's been talking to humans. What? Talking to humans? He has a human girlfriend. Oh, Barry, and they make out. Make out, Barry, we do not. You wish you could. Whose side are you on? The bees. I dated a cricket once in San Antonio, man. Those crazy legs kept me up all night. Oh, Chua. Barry, this is what you want to do with your life.
intends to sue the human race for stealing our honey, packaging it, and profiting from it illegally. Don't forget, tomorrow night on Be Larry King, we're gonna have three former queens all right here in our studio discussing their new book, Classy Ladies, out this week on Hexagon. Tonight, we're talking with Barry Benson. Did you ever think, I'm just a kid from the hive, I can't do this? Larry, bees have never been afraid to change the world. I mean, what about B. Columbus, B. Gandhi, B. Jesus? Well, where I'm from, you wouldn't think of suing humans. We are thinking more like a stickball, uh, candy stores. How old are you? Well, I want you to know that the entire bee community is supporting you in this case, which is certain to be the trial of the bee century. Thank you, Larry. You know, they have a Larry King in the human world, too. It's a common name. Next week on Bee Larry King... No, I mean, he looks like you, and he has a show with suspenders and different colored dots behind him. Next week on Be Larry King, old guy glasses, and there's quotes along the bottom from the guests you're watching, even though you just heard them. Bear next week, they're scary, they're hairy, and they're here live. Always leans forward, pointy shoulders, squinty eyes, very Jewish. Look, in in tennis, you attack at the point weakness, but it was my grandmother again. She's 81. Ah, uh, honey, her backhand's a joke. I'm not going to take advantage of that. Quiet, please. Actual work going on here. Is that that same bee? Yes, it is. I'm helping him sue the human race. What? Oh, hello. Hello, bee. This is Ken. Yeah, I remember you. Timberland, size 10 and a half. Vibrant soul, I believe. Why does he talk again, hon? Listen, you better go because we're really busy working, but it's our yogurt night. Oh, bye-bye. Why is yogurt night so difficult? Oh, you poor thing. You two have been at this for hours. Yes, and Adam here has been a huge help. How many sugars? Just one. I John had to use a competition. Oh, so why are you helping me anyway? Bees have good qualities. Si, certo. And it feels good to take my mind off the shop. I don't know why, instead of flowers, people are giving balloon bouquets now. Yeah, those are great if you're three. And artificial flowers. Oh, those just get me psychotic. Yeah, me too. The pen stingers, the pointless pollination. Bees must hate those fake plastic things. There's nothing worse than a daffodil that's had work done. Well, maybe this could make up for it a little bit. You know, Barry, this lawsuit is a pretty big deal. I guess. Are you sure that you want to go through with it? Am I sure? When I'm done with the humans, they won't be able to say, Honey, I'm home, without paying a royalty. Sarah, it's an incredible scene here in downtown Manhattan, where all eyes and ears of the world are anxiously waiting. Because for the first time in history, we're going to hear for ourselves if a honeybee can actually speak. What have we gone into here, Barry? I don't know, but it's pretty big, isn't it? I can't believe how many humans don't have to be at work during the day. Hey, you think these billion dollar multinational food companies have good lawyers? What's the matter? I don't know, I just gotta chill. Well, it isn't the B team. Any of you boys work on this? All rise, the Honorable Judge Bumbleton presiding. All right, case number 4475, Superior Court of New York. Barry P. Benson versus Lani Industry is now in session. Mr. Montgomery, you're representing the five major food companies collectively. A privilege. Ah, uh, Mr. Benson, you are representing all bees of the world. Ah, uh, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Yes, Your Honor, we are ready to proceed. And Mr. Montgomery, your opening statement, please. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury. My grandmother was a simple woman, born on a farm. She believed it was man's divine right to benefit from the bounty of nature God to put before us. If we are to live in the topsy-turvy world, Mr. Benson imagines, to just think of what it would mean. Maybe I would have to negotiate with the silkworm for the elastic in my britches. Talking B. How do we know this isn't some sort of holographic motion picture capture Hollywood wizardry? They could be using laser beams, robotics, ventriloquism, cloning. For all we know, he could be on steroids. Mr. Benson, 
Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, there is no trickery here. I'm just an ordinary bee, and as a bee, honey is pretty important to me. It's important to all bees. We invented it, we make it, and we protect it with our lives. Unfortunately, there are some people in this room who think they can take whatever they want from us because we're the little guys. And what I'm hoping is that after all this is over, you'll see how by taking our honey, you're not only taking away everything we have, but everything we are. Oh, I wish you would dress like that all the time. So nice. Call your first witness. So, Mr. Klaus van der Hayden of Honey Farms. Pretty big company you have there. I suppose so. And I see you also own Honey Burton and Han Ron. Yes, they provide beekeepers for our farms. Beekeeper. I found that to be a very disturbing term. I have to say, I don't imagine you employ any bee freers, do you? Uh, no. I'm sorry, I couldn't hear you. No. No, because you don't free bees, you keep bees. And not only that, it seems you thought a bear would be an appropriate image for a jar of honey. Well, they're very lovable creatures. Uh, Yogi Bear, Fozzie Bear, oh, Build Bear. Yeah, you mean like this? Bears kill bees. How would you like his big hairy head crashing through your living room, biting into your couch, spitting at your throat pillows, roar, roar, roar? Okay, that's enough. Take him away. So, Mr. Sting, thank you for being here. Your name intrigues me. I have to say, where have I heard it before? I was with a band called The Police, but you've never been a police officer of any kind, have you? Uh, no, I haven't. No, you haven't. And so, here we have yet another example of bee culture being casually stolen by a human for nothing more than a brand's about stage name. Oh, please. Have you ever been stung, Mr. Sting? Because I'm feeling a little stung, sting. Or should I say, Mr. Gordon M. Sumner? That's not his real name, you idiots. Mr. Leo Dahl, first, may I offer my belated congratulations on your Emmy win for a guest spot on ER in 2005. Thank you, thank you. I also see from your resume that you're devilishly handsome, but with a churning inner turmoil that's always ready to blow. I enjoy what I do. Is that a crime? Not yet, it isn't. But is this what it's come to for you, Mr. Leota? Exploiting tiny helpless bees so you don't have to rehearse your part and learn your lines. Watch it, Benson. I could blow right now. This isn't a good fella. This is a bad fella. Why doesn't someone just step on this little creep and we can all go home? You're all thinking it. Say it. Order, order in this courtroom. Order, I say. Mr. Leota, please sit down. Well, I just think that was awfully nice of that bear to pitch in like that. I'm telling you, I think the jury's on our side. Are we doing everything all right? You know, legally. I'm a florist. Right, right. Well, here's to a great team. To a great team. Well, hello. Oh, Ken. Hello. Oh, I didn't think you were coming. No, I was just late. I tried to call, but the battery... I didn't want all this to go to waste, so I called Barry. Luckily, he was free. Yeah. Oh, that was lucky. Well, there's still a little left. I could heat it up. Yeah, heat it up. Sure, whatever. So I hear you're quite a tennis player. I'll not measure the game myself. I find the ball a little grabby. That's where I usually sit, right there. Again, Barry was looking at your resume, and he agreed with me that eating with chopsticks isn't really a special skill. You think I don't see what you're doing? Hey, look, I know how hard it is trying to find the right job. We certainly have that in common. Do we? Well, bees have 100% employment, of course, but we do jobs like taking the crud out. That's just what I was thinking about doing. Again, I let Barry borrow your razor for his fuzz. I hope that was all right. Going to go train the old stinger. Yeah, you do that. Oh, look at that. You know, you know, I've just about had it with your little mind games. What's that? Italian folk. Mamma mia, that's a lot of pages. It's a lot of ads. Remember what Fan said? Why 
is your life any more valuable than mine? That's funny. I just can't seem to recall that. I think something stinks in here. I love the smell of flowers. Yeah, how do you like the smell of flames? Not as much. Water bug not taking sides. Barry is on the toilet tank. He comes out from behind a shampoo bottle, wearing a chopstick cap as a helmet. Ken, look at me. I'm wearing a chopstick hat. This is pathetic. I've got issues. Well, 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 a royal flush. You're bluffing. Am I? Surf's up, dude. Ew, poo water. Whoa, that bull is gnarly. Except for those dirty yellow rings. Kenneth, what are you doing? You know what? I don't even like honey. I don't eat it. We need to talk. He's just a little bee, and he happens to be the nicest bee I've met in a long time. Long time? What are you talking about? Are there other bugs in your life? No, but there are other things bugging me in life, and you're one of them. Fine. Talking to bees. No yogurt night. My nerves are fried from riding on this emotional roller coaster. Goodbye, Ken. Ugh. And for your information, I prefer sugar-free artificial sweeteners made by man. I'm sorry about all that. I know it's gotten aftertaste. I like it. I always felt there was some kind of barrier between Ken and me. I couldn't overcome it. Oh well. Are you going to be okay for the trial tomorrow? Oh, I believe Mr. Montgomery is about out of ideas. We would like to call Mr. Barry Benson B to the stand. Oh, that's a good idea. You can really see why he's considered one of the very best lawyers. Uh, yeah. Layton, you've got to weave some magic with this jury or it's going to be all over. Oh, don't worry, Mr. Camel. The only thing I have to do to turn this jury around is to remind them of what they don't like about bees. You got the tweezers. Are you allergic? Only to losing, son. Only to losing. Mr. Benson B, I'll ask you what I think we'd all like to know. What exactly is your relationship to that woman? We're friends. Good friends? Yes. How good? What? Do you live together? Wait a minute. This isn't about, are you her little bed bug? Hey, that's not the kind of, I've seen a bee documentary or two. Now, from what I understand, doesn't your queen give birth to all the bee children in the hive? Yeah, but... So those aren't even your real parents. Oh, Barry, yes they are. Hold me back. You're an illegitimate bee, aren't you, Benson? He's denouncing bees. And don't y'all date your cousins. Objection. I'm going to pincushion this guy. Adam, don't. It's what he wants. Oh, I'm hit. Oh, lordy, I am hit. Order, order, please. The venom, the venom is coursing through my veins. Mr. Montgomery... I have been felled by a winged beast of destruction, you see. You can't treat them like equals. They're striped savages. Singing's the only thing they know. It's their way. Adam, stay with me. I can't feel my legs. Take it easy. Oh, what angel of mercy will come forward to suck the poison from my heaving buttocks? Please, I will have order in this court. Order, order, please. The case of the honeybees versus the human race took a pointed turn against the bees yesterday when one of their legal teams stung Layton T. Montgomery. Now, here's Don with the five day. Hey, buddy. Hey, is there much pain? Yeah, I, uh, I put the whole case, didn't I? Oh, it doesn't matter. The important thing is you're alive. You could have died. I'd be better off dead. Look at me. They got it from the cafeteria. They got it from downstairs in a tuna sandwich. Look, there's a little celery still on it. What was it like to sting someone? I can't explain. It was all, all adrenaline and then, and then ecstasy. All right. You think that was all a trap? Of course. I'm sorry. I flew us right into this. What were we thinking? Look at us. We're just a couple of bugs in this world. What do you think the humans will do to us if they win? I don't know. I hear they put the roaches in motels. That doesn't sound so bad. Adam, they check in, but they don't check out. Oh my. Say, could you get a nurse to close that window? Why? The smoke. Bees don't smoke. Right? B 
these don't smoke. These don't smoke, but some bees are smoking. Adam, that's it. That's her case. It is. It's not over. No, get up. Get dressed. I've got to go somewhere. You get back to the court and stall. Stall any way you can. And assuming you've done step 29 correctly, you're ready for the dub. Mr. Flayman, yes, yes, your honor. Where is the rest of your team? Well, your honor, it's interesting. You know, bees are trained to fly kind of haphazardly. And as a result, quite often we don't make very good time. I actually once heard a pretty funny story about a bee. Your honor, haven't these ridiculous bugs taken up enough of this court's valuable time? How much longer are we going to allow these absurd shenanigans to go on? They have presented no compelling evidence to support their charges against my clients, who have all run perfectly legitimate businesses. I move for a complete dismissal of this entire case. Mr. Flayman, I'm afraid I'm going to have to consider Mr. Montgomery's motion, but you can't. We have a terrific case. Where is your proof? Where is the evidence? Show me the smoking gun. Hold it, your honor. You want a smoking gun? Here's your smoking gun. What is that? It's a bee smoker. What? This? This harmless little contraption. This could nerd a fly, let alone a bee. Members of the jury, look at what has happened to bees who have never been asked, smoking or not. Is this what nature intended for us? To be forcibly addicted to these smoke machines and man-made wooden slab war camps, living out our lives as honey slaves to the white man. What are we going to do? He's playing the species card. Ladies and gentlemen, please free these bees. Free the bees. Free the bees. Free the bees. Free the bees. The court finds in favor of the bees. Vanessa, we won. Yay, I knew you could do it. High five. Oh, sorry. I'm okay. Vanessa, do you know what this means? Well, the honey is finally going to belong to the bees. Now we won't have to work so hard all the time. This is an unholy perversion of the balance of nature, Benson. You'll regret this. Barry, how much honey do you think is out there? All right, all right, one at a time. Barry, who are you wearing? My sweater is Ralph Lauren, and I have no pants. What if Montgomery's right? What do you mean? We've been living the B way a long time, 27 million years. Congratulations on your victory. What are you going to demand as a settlement? First, we're going to demand a complete shutdown of all B work camps. Then, we want back the honey that was ours to begin with. Every last drop. We demand an end to the glorification of the bear as anything more than a filthy, smelly, big-headed, bad-breath stink machine. I believe we're all aware of what they do in the woods. Wait for my signal. Take him out. You'll have nausea for a few hours, then you'll be fine. And we will no longer tolerate P-negative nicknames. But it's just a prance about stage name. Unnecessary inclusion of honey in bogus health products and la-di-da human tea time snack garnishments. I can't breathe. Bring it in, boys. Mr. Buzzwell, we just passed three cups and there's gallons more coming. I think we need to shut down. Shut down. We've never shut down. Shut down honey production. Stop making honey. Turn your key, sir. What do we do now? Get in ball, Lulu. We're shutting down honey production. Mission abort. Aborting pollination and nectar detail. Returning to base. Adam, you wouldn't believe how much honey was out there. Oh yeah? What's going on around here? Where is everybody? Are they out celebrating? No, they're just home. They don't know what to do. They're laying out. They're sleeping in. I heard your Uncle Carl was on his way to San Antonio with the cricket. At least we got our honey back. Yeah, but sometimes, I think. So what if humans liked our honey? Who wouldn't? It's the greatest thing in the world. I was excited to be part of making it. This was my new desk. This was my new job. I wanted to do it really well. And now... And... Now I can't. I don't understand why they're not happy. We have so much now. I thought their lives would be better. They're doing nothing. It's amazing. 
to show me this. What happened here? That is not the half of it. Oh no. Oh my. They're all wilting. Doesn't look very good, does it? No. And whose fault do you think that is? You know, I'm going to guess bees. Bees. Specifically me. I guess I didn't think that bees not needing to make honey would affect all these other things. And it's not just flowers, fruits, vegetables, they all need bees. Well, that's our whole SAT test right there. So you take away the produce that affects the entire animal kingdom, and then, of course, the human species. Oh, and so if there's no more pollination, we could all just go south here, couldn't it? And I know this is also partly my fault. <gasps> How about a suicide pact? How would we do it? I'll sting you, you step on me. That just kills you twice. Right, right. Listen, Barry, sorry, but I got to get going. I had to open my mouth and talk. Vanessa, Vanessa, why are you leaving? Where are you going? To the final tournament of Rose's Parade in Pasadena. They've moved it up to this weekend because all the flowers are dying. It's the last chance I'll ever have to see it. Vanessa, I just want to say I'm sorry. I never meant it to turn out like this. I know, me neither. Tournament of Roses. Roses can't do sports. Wait a minute. Roses. 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 Vanessa. Barry. Roses are flowers. Yes, they are. Flowers. Bees. Pollen. I know. That's why this is the last parade. Maybe not. Could you ask him to slow down? Could you slow down? Barry. Okay, I made a huge mistake. This is a total disaster and it's all my fault. Yes, it kind of is. I've ruined the planet and I wanted to help you with your flower shop. Instead, I've made it worse. Actually, it's completely closed down. I thought maybe you were remodeling. Nonetheless, I have another idea, and it's greater than all my previous great ideas combined. I don't want to hear it. Alright, here's what I'm thinking. They have the roses. The roses have the pollen. I know every bee, plant, and flower bud in this park. All we got to do is get what they've got back here with what we've got. Bees. Park. Pollen. Flowers. Repollination. Across the nation. Alright, Tournament of Roses, Pasadena, California. They've got nothing but flowers, floats, and cotton candy. Security will be tight. I have an idea. Vanessa Bloom, FDD, official floor business. Oh, it's real. Sorry, ma'am. That's a nice brooch, by the way. Thank you. It was a gift. Then, once we're inside, we just paid the right float. How about the princess and the pea? Yeah, I could be the princess and... Yeah, I think you could be the pea. I got it. Sorry, I'm late. Where should I sit? What are you? I believe I'm the pea. The pea. It's supposed to be under the mattresses. Not in this fairy tale, sweetheart. I'm going to go talk to the marshal. You do that. This whole parade is a fiasco. Let's see what this baby will do. Hey, what are you doing? Then all we do is blend in with traffic without arousing suspicion. And once we're at the airport, there's no stopping us. Stop, security. Did you and your insect pack your own float? Yes. Has this float been in your possession the entire time? Yes. Would you remove your shoes and everything in your pockets? Can you remove your stinger, sir? Uh, that's part of me. I know, just having some fun. Enjoy your flight. Then, if we're lucky, we'll have just enough pollen to do the job. Can you believe how lucky we are? We have just enough pollen to do the job. I think this is going to work, Vanessa. It's got to work. Attention passengers, this is Captain Scott. I'm afraid we have a bit of bad weather in the New York area and looks like we're going to be experiencing a couple of hours delay. Barry, these are cut flowers with no water. They'll never make it. I've got to get up there and talk to these guys. Be careful. Hey, can I get some help with this Sky Mall magazine? I'd like to order the talking inflatable nose and ear hair trimmer. Excuse me, Captain. I'm in a real situation here. What did you say, Hal? I didn't say anything. Ah, B. No, no, don't freak out. There's a chance my entire 
Endangered Species. What are you doing? Stop. Wait a minute. I'm an attorney. Who's an attorney? Don't move. Oh, Barry. Good afternoon, passengers. This is your captain speaking. What a Miss Vanessa Bloom and 24B. Please report to the cockpit and please hurry. What happened here? I tried to talk to them, but then there was a dustbuster, a toupee, a life raft exploded. Now one's bald, one's in a boat, and they're both unconscious. Is that another pee joke? No, no one's flying the plane. This is JFK Control Tower, Flight 356. What's your status? This is Vanessa Bloom. I'm a florist from New York. Where's the pilot? He's unconscious, and so is the co-pilot. Not good. Is there anyone on board who has flight experience? As a matter of fact, there is. Who's that? Barry Benson. From the Honey Trial. Oh, great. Vanessa, this is nothing more than a big metal bee. It's got giant wings, huge engines. I can't fly a plane. Why not? Isn't John Travolta a pilot? Yes. How hard could it be? Wait a minute, Barry. We're headed into some lightning. This is Bob Bumble. We have some late-breaking news from JFK Airport, where a very suspenseful scene is developing. Barry Benson, fresh off his stunning legal victory, that's Barry, is now attempting to land a plane loaded with people, flowers, and an incapacitated flight crew. Flowers? Well, we have an electrical storm in the area and two individuals at the controls of a jumbo jet absolutely no flight experience. Just a minute, Mr. Ditchwater. There's a honeybee on that plane. I'm quite familiar with Mr. Benson's work and his no-account compadres. Haven't they done enough damage already? But isn't here only hope right now? Come on, technically, a bee shouldn't be able to fly at all. The wings are too small and their bodies are too big. Hey, hold on a second. Haven't we heard this a million times? The surface area of the wings and body mass doesn't make sense. Get this on the air. You got it. Stand by. We're going live. Mr. Ditchwater, the way we work may be a mystery to you because making honey takes a lot of bees doing a lot of small jobs. But let me tell you something about a small job. If you do it really well, it makes a big difference more than we realized, to us, to everyone. That's why I want to get bees back to doing what we do best, working together. That's the bee way. We're not made of jello. We get behind a fellow, black and yellow, hello. Left, right, down, hover, hover, forget hover. You know what? This isn't so hard. Beep, 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 beep. Barry, what happened? Wait a minute. I think we are on the autopilot that whole time. That may have been helping me. And now we're not. Well, then it turns out I cannot fly a plane. All of you, let's get behind this fellow. Move it out. Our only chance is if I do what I do and you copy me with the wings of the plane. You don't have to yell. I'm not yelling. We happen to be in a lot of trouble here. It's very hard to concentrate with that panicky tone in your voice. It's not a tone. I'm panicking. I don't think I can do this. Vanessa, pull yourself together. Listen to me. You have got to snap out of it. You 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 snap out of it. Hold it. Why? Come on, it's my turn. How is the plane flying? I don't know. Hello? Hey, Benson. Have you got any flyers for a happy occasion in there? The ball and jocks. They do get behind a fellow. Black and yellow. Hello. All right, you two. Why do you say we dropped this tin can on the black top? What black top? Where? I can't see anything. Can you? No, nothing. It's all cloudy. Come on. You gotta think, B. Barry. Thinking B. Thinking B. Thinking B. Thinking B. Wait a minute. I think I'm feeling something. What? I don't know, but it's strong and it's pulling me like a 27 million year old instinct. Bring the nose of the plane down. Thinking B. Thinking B. Thinking B. Thinking B. What in the world is on the tarmac? Get some lights on that. When 
Scramble. 